dum 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 ah. Hello and welcome to Tech Talk. I'm Jim Reed. In this episode, we're going to discuss something that you can see on many airliners and something that is a very big deal in the air race as well, winglets. At first glance, it would appear that winglets have several downsides. They add weight to the aircraft that is far away from the CG, and they also add width to the wingspan. Are either of these a good idea when you're trying to pass a narrow air gate at 200 knots? Let's take a closer look at what's happening at the ends of the wing. As we know in flight, there is a pressure difference between the upper and lower surfaces of the wing. At the wing tips, high pressure air from the lower surface of the wing makes its way towards the low pressure air on the top side of the wing. This creates vortices. In aviation, we call this induced drag. The idea behind the winglet is to reduce this drag. On airliners, winglets produce a measurable improvement in fuel consumption. If you look around the race airport, you will see many different kinds of winglet shapes. Many teams are spending a lot of money and time to figure out which shape is the best. Dum, 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 dum. But also, if you look around, you will see that many of the very fast airplanes only have flat wing tips. So what can we take away from this Tech Talk episode? The shape at the end of the wing is crucial to race aircraft performance. Which shape is the best? Who knows? But it's a lot of fun trying to figure it out. Hello, YouTubers. Thank you for watching. If you want to subscribe, you need to click here. And if you want to watch more videos, you need to click here.